or something. It's not that simple though, because the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. It's and not, maybe I'll not, be alone forever, and you guys are if right. You've had, if you've had certain, I, I don't know what your personal like. I mean, this isn't a personal thing, no, I'm but just but it's like it's like. If someone's done something for five years, ten years, whatever it is, it's going to be harder and harder to quit. So the longer you like engage in certain decisions, it's harder to stop. And we don't even have to make it about like sleeping around. It could be about like if you drink every day for ten years, it's going to be harder to stop. Yeah, yeah, I don't disagree. Mm -hmm. So, dating and job hunting are so much alike. Hear me out. When you're sitting across from an employer, you hand them your resume. Your resume is your history. Now. One of the biggest red flags employers look out for are how many jobs you've had in a short period of time. For example, in the last two years, if you've had 10 to 15 jobs, red flag, because they're thinking to themselves, wow, this person cannot keep a job. Why is there such a high turnover? Now, comparing that to dating, when a guy sits across on a date and asks a girl, hey, what is your body count? Your body count is your history, right? Men focus on history. Women tend to focus on the future, right? Now, when we look at your history and we're like, oh, in the past two years, you've been with 10 to 15 guys. To some people, to most, it's a red flag. It's like, wow, why is she going through so many guys? Why can't she not settle down with one? That's the biggest issue personally to me why body cap matters.